Hi guys, it's Sherry. So today we're gonna to be making a window chine. And the first thing I did was I rolled my clay out to the thickest setting. And the reason I did that was I just want to condition it. So I'm actually going to take my clay and I'm going to kind of bundle it up like this. You know, we wanna make it nice and pliable. I have my mold here and I'm going to kind of get an idea of how big I need my little ball. So I know I need to roll this out a bit. And this is going to give me a good starting point by just kind of measuring out. So that's about the size that I know I'm going to want because it fits right into my mold. So I also have this sheet here, which I love the colors. So I'm just going to kind of figure out exactly what colors I want. And I am just going to press my clay right onto that. And I really want this to stick right to my clay. And I'm just gonna rub it. Oops, get back. Let's just stick that on there. Let me take this extra so I could keep that for later. So then I'm gonna take my clay and I am going to put it right into my mold. And I'm gonna push really hard because I want the impression to really show up good on this. Just roll your piece out, make sure it's nice and deep in there. And look how cool that looks. So now I'm just gonna leave it just like that for the time being. And I'm gonna get my dot tool and I have these little impressions for the moon and I'm just gonna kinda open them up a bit. So I'm just going to push down exactly where they are. Just one more right here. Everything looks beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this piece of clay and I'm gonna roll this out on my second thickest setting. And I'm gonna place this right on top of here. And I'm gonna push them down a bit. Make sure you're not pressing too hard because you don't wanna distort your piece. And now I have my blue and my pearl white mica powder. I'm gonna get my little paintbrush and then I am just going to kind of go right over everything. Just blend your colors together nicely. Some areas I want light, some areas I want darker. I'm gonna get inside those little holes a little bit darker. Now I need to find a cutter that is gonna be that size. So I want to see if I can, that's going to be a little big. That's going to be. Let 
I'm just going to kind of smooth this a bit. I'm going to clean this up a little bit then. I want to kind of push this down so it has that nice round look to it. I want to take my X-Acto knife and just clean up my edges real nice here. Okay, so then I'm going to get my micro powder again, and I'm just going to do my edges and the back. And I am really happy with that. That looks really cool. So let's get our micro powder. Let's get our edges done. Okay. I'm gonna take my really, really tiny one and I'm just gonna kind of texture the sides here. And I don't mind if it is a little white there because that'll give it a little bit more character as well. So I just wanna kind of, I'm just pulling down to make it look like it's encaved. And you could pull up, that'll make your little holes deeper. So that is our beautiful face. Now I'm going to take my little eyelets and I am going to just stick one right in the middle here. Right in the middle. And that'll give me my area that I can hang my piece from. And I'm also going to just indent the nose a little bit. The mouth looks really well. The eyes look good. And that piece is finished. So now we'll go on to doing a couple of our stars. So I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to roll this out onto my thickest setting. And don't worry about if you have blue on it. That's okay. All right. So I have my clay rolled out to my thickest setting. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my leaf. And I want some of the blue, but I want more of the gold color. So I'm going to kind of, let's see, I'm going to press it so I could get some of each. I'm just going to kind of press it on here. And just rub it. kind of there we go all right I'm gonna put some of this up here Oops. I just love this leaf it's so pretty and just absolutely pretty now I'm going to take my roller and I am just going to roll it a bit, kind of give it a nice little crackle.
All right, now I am actually going to put this through my pasta machine just once going down this way, and I'm gonna put that on my middle section. And look at all those beautiful cracks we got, just beautiful. I want to take my clay here and I am actually going to put this upside down on each other. Kind of roll it. And now you'll have the front and the back. And I am going to take a couple of my small stars. I don't need a lot, but I just want a few. And I want different sizes. I'm just going to smooth out my edges and then I have my gold and my orange and we're going to start with the orange because we have a lot of gold leaf on here. I just want to kind of see if this brightens it up a little bit. Maybe do a little blue on the other side, but let's do all our orange first. Once you have all your mica powder on your pieces, then we could put our little eyelets in or eye pins. I'm going to just fix this one. Okay. So I'm just going to go right down the middle and very carefully make sure that I am not going through the other side. There we go. And I'm gonna put them in different directions so when they hang, they're not all the same. And that one right on the top. Okay, so now we'll put all of these in our oven. Uh, this is Primo clay, so I will bake this at 275. And I'm gonna put it in for about, this piece is pretty thick. So I'm gonna do an hour on this one. And these, I'm just gonna do about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so my pieces are out of the oven. They're completely cooled off. And this is how we are going to be setting it up. And I think this is going to be fantastic. I'm super excited about this. So the first thing we're going to do is I have my little drill bit. And these are going to attach right to my little glass pieces. And then these two little stars, I want to attach them. So I grab my jump rings. And to make sure that your drill bit fits the, um, the jump rings properly, you're just going to kind of eye them up and see if they will fit. So I'm going to just put two holes right in the bottom of my star. And do not get too close to the edge. Go right kind of in the middle. This way you know that your star will not break. 
Oops. I'm going to get my pliers. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to get our super glue. And then I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to pull out this little um, eye hook. I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on it and I will stick it right back in to the hole. It only takes a couple um, minutes for that to dry. Just gonna get a piece of little saran wrap and wipe that glue off. Okay, so now I wanna take my jump ring Going to make sure it's open all the way. And then I will place my jump ring right inside. And then I will attach my little star and close that up. And do the same thing on this side. And there is our stars. All right. So I'm just going to super glue these right away as well. And now. What we need to do is we need to change our bit because we want to put eyelets at the bottom. So this is real simple. You just unscrew it and then I want to make sure that I have a really small one that is close in size to these little eye hooks. I'm just going to take it and then just retighten it. And I know I want one right in the middle. So all I'm going to do is go right in the middle and then start turning. See how, so I know I got to cut a little bit of that off. And that should fit right in there. So just kind of test it first before you put glue on it. Okay, so that will fit. And now, uh, okay, so now I'm going to put some glue on here and I will put that right in there. And I will do the same thing on the side. So I know I want one on the side here to hang down. So I'll start my little hole. I just turn in my drill bit and then I'm just going to go right in and then I'll just turn it out. I'll trim this one up as well.
Okay. And we'll do the same on this side. That looks about even. All right, so our pieces now are completely glued in, and now we can start assembling our pieces. So my middle one, I want my dangled star to be on. So I'll just open this up. Get my finger off of there and set that on. That's simple. And I'll do the same thing with these ones. Okay, and I want to, I have this chain that I'm going to put on the top to hang my piece. So I need some jump rings for that. And I have a big one for the very top to hang on to like a screw or a hook. And then I'm going to use a smaller one to attach it. So get your pliers, open up your jump ring, and you could use any chain. I just happen to have this one laying around, so I wanted to use this one. And then for the very top, place that there. Close it. And now we will assemble our star. So I want to make sure that it's facing the correct direction. And just slip those right in. And lastly, we got to protect our mica powder because it's already, you can see, coming off on my finger. So I will take my gloss glaze. And I got my paintbrush. I just want to soften it. And then I will glaze my entire piece. This came out so beautiful. I am super excited about this. I cannot wait to hang this up. I'll get the back last. So I want to get my stars. And then I will hang this up to completely dry. And while it's hanging up, I can actually do the backs of everything. And this way I know 
that nothing is going to be a mess. Okay, guys, so our piece is complete and I love it. I know I keep calling it a wind chime or a window chime. At least I think that's what I called it, but I would say more like a window decoration. I wouldn't necessarily say sun catcher, but maybe a sun catcher. Not sure what you would call this, but we're going to say window decoration. And I think this is beautiful. I'm really happy with the way that the moon's face came out. I'm happy with the stars and the two different colors with the gold leaf coming through. I just think this is going to be a really neat piece to put in my window. I'm super excited to hang this up. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and creating this piece with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.